Here's problem 9-7. A 10-gram bullet moving 1,000 meters per second strikes and passes through a 2-kilogram block initially at rest as shown. The bullet emerges from the block with a speed of 400 meters per second. To what maximum height will the block rise after its initial position? All right, this is really two problems in one. We're going to have a collision where we know that um, uh, momentum will be conserved. However, it's going to be an inelastic collision, so we're going to lose kinetic energy. So we can't, um, we can't assume conservation of kinetic energy for the collision itself. We must just assume conservation of momentum, get the final velocity that way, and then we can use conservation of energy as the block uh, transfers kinetic energy into potential energy of height. So it's really two problems in one. Conservation of momentum first is what we need to consider. So we have this initial situation with a bullet moving with an initial velocity let's call it V1 initial of a thousand meters per second um, mass 2 is the 2 kilogram block and it has initial velocity of 0, it's at rest mass 1 being a 10 gram bullet so that's going to be 0 0.01 kilograms for the mass. So this is the way things look like initially. And then uh, when the bullet passes through the block, the block will have a hole in it as, as with a inelastic collision. And the final velocity of the bullet will be 400 meters per second. The block will have a final velocity as well, which we don't know. That's what we want to find out. And this is the way things look in our final analysis after the collision. So we want to employ conservation of momentum, mass 1, velocity 1 initial, plus mass 2, velocity 2 initial, equals mass 1, velocity 1 final, plus mass 2, velocity 2 final. Our one equation to rule them all for all collisions is conservation of momentum. So in this case we have mass 1, which is 0 0.01 kilograms, moving at initial velocity of 1,000, plus mass 2, which is 2, moving at initial velocity of 0, is equal to mass 1, 0 0.01 kilograms, with a final velocity of 400 plus mass 2 with a final velocity which we wish to find out. We have a bunch of numbers and V2 final we can solve for this. Realize that uh, 2 times 0 is 0. So we have 1000 times 0 0.01 which, which will give me 10 is equal to 400 times 0 0.01 is 4 plus 2 times V2 final so V2 final will equal 10 minus 4 divided by 2, which will be 6 divided by 2, or 3 meters per second. So that is the final velocity of the block right after the collision. Now let's just forget about the bullet and focus in on this block and think of a new problem where this this velocity and kinetic energy is being converted to potential energy of height. So we're going to have this block moving from with initial velocity of um, 3 meters per second. It's going to achieve some height which we wish to find out. And it's strictly a conservation of energy problem where our kinetic energy 1 half m V squared is going to equal our potential energy MGH. M's cancel out and we have that H will equal V squared divided by 2G. That's going to be 3 squared divided by 2 times 9.8 and that will be .8.
0.459 meters. So the block will go up 0.459 meters or 45.9 centimeters. And um, we, we had to do this problem first by looking at uh, conservation of momentum for the collision and then we looked at conservation of energy just for the block as it moved to the higher height. So we had to treat this as two problems in one, a bonus problem, yay, for, um, for this particular situation.